Let's talk about the next topic in units and dimensions, which is combination of errors. Whenever we have two measured quantities which have some kind of error associated with them and we perform arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division using those quantities, what we observe is that the errors present in those quantities combine in multiple different ways in the final result. We will see each arithmetic operation case by case in this video. So first of all, let us talk about addition and subtraction. So let us say I consider two numbers A and B each having delta A and delta B error associated with it and I perform either addition or subtraction on them and the result is stored in the variable R. So over here I define R as A plus minus B and R is also R naught plus minus delta R because it will have some kind of error that comes from both the quantities. Then what we observe is that R naught or the value of the result is a plus minus uh, is a naught plus minus b naught but the value of error in the final result is simply added so what we observe from here is that no matter you either add or subtract two quantities their errors are always added now let's talk about the case of multiplication and division so over here i have considered the same quantities a and b and i'm i'm going to carry out either multiplication or division on them so, I have A and B defined as A0 plus minus delta A and B0 plus minus delta B and I define a third variable R that stores the result of either multiplication or division which you can see over here. Now, R can also be written as R0 plus minus delta R because it will have some error coming in from its source quantities. So, what we observe in case of multiplication and division is that the relative errors of the initial quantities gets added in the final result. So over here you can see is that my R0 value which is the magnitude of my result is simply A0 into B0 if it is multiplication or it is A0 by B0 if it is division and the relative error in the result which is delta R by R is simply the sum of relative errors in the initial quantities which is delta A by A0 plus delta B by B0. So this should be very very clear to you. Now let us talk about what happens when we have a number raised to a specific exponent. So over here we have considered only one number a as a0 plus minus delta a and we raise this number a to the power of n and this result we store in the variable r. So over here if we define r as a raised to power n and we express r as r0 plus minus delta r then what we observe is that the value of r0 is equal to a0 raised to power n which is uh, quite straightforward. However, the relative error in the result is simply n times the relative error in the quantity. So whenever we have a number raised to its exponent, the exponent gets multiplied to the relative error in the final result as you can see over here. So summarizing what we just learned, I can say that upon addition and subtraction, absolute errors in the initial numbers are added to give absolute error in the final result. Upon multiplication and division, sum of relative errors in the initial number gives me the relative error in the final number and whenever a number is raised by an exponent what we observe is that the relative error in the result is simply equal to the product of exponent and the relative error in the initial number. I hope these ideas are very very clear to you. Thank you.